guys. Hi! It is finally here! Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jidian and I am super excited to be here. I feel like my YouTube channel has been long awaited, but I am finally here, baby. I was so scared to put myself out there, my dear, but I have finally arrived. I am here. Mama is here, okay? <laughs> mama the mama is here. Um, Alright guys, so I decided to put a tag on my um, Instagram status, you know, so that people could like um, send me questions so that I could use for my YouTube channel. Can I just say that I had 200 and something people view that status, but my dear, at the beginning, in the beginning, life is hard. Ah! <laughs> um, a lot of people didn't participate, but I guess it's normal, you know, with the fact that I'm not really active on Instagram. Um, to every single person who um, took their time out and asked me questions, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I literally had to harass my friends um into sending me questions i had to like beg them okay i didn't beg them but i was like babe please go go and ask me a question you know um so yeah thank you to every single one of my friends that took their time off as well um to ask me the questions thank you barbara just a few disclaimers i wear glasses mm, but as you can see me i like things i'm wearing long lashes my dear if you think this is long, my dear, and that song, period. The first question is, how tall are you? I am 5'1". Uh, I'm just also going to give you my shoe size, just in case, you know, you feel like, you know, the hand of God is telling you to, you know, send me shoes or buy me something, you know, for my birthday or whatever the case is. I am a size um, 7, US 7, um, South Africa, I'm a size 4, Angola, I'm a size 37, 38. Um, so, yeah. What's your favorite song? Um, my favorite song and my favorite artist um, is Michelle Bakenda. I am literally obsessed with Michelle Bakenda. And my favorite song by him is Likolo Nanyo. So I love that song. Listen, when that man sings, you literally feel like God is he. He, yeah. Like God is just whoo, 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 breathing next to you, my dear. No, that man, that man, ah, 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 that man really does wonders. The level of intimacy that he has with the Holy Spirit, the level of intimacy that he has with God can be heard from his voice, can be heard with the words that he says to God. You know me, I love words of affirmation. The way that man cries, his love language for God. That's the type of love language I have. I aspire to have for God. Okay, so the next question is, did you get vaccinated? I did not get vaccinated, guys. Me, I'm scared. For me, it's like, okay. So my problem with the vaccine is, normally, you know, studies are carried out. Normally, studies take years, months, you know, whatever the case is, for them to come up with a vaccine. But this one, my dear, three months, four months, five months, they came up with a vaccine. And they are shoving it down people's throat to take it to an extent whereby they are willing to come to people's houses and give them shots to an extent whereby they are literally telling people that you are going to get fired if you don't get the vaccine to an extent whereby they're willing to find students just to get the vaccine my dear please anointing oil is there just let me pray and fast over my anointing oil i'll be fine Corona won't know me because I every day just one teaspoon, one teaspoon of anointing oil, my dear. I'm going to be okay. Next question is um, How often will you be getting videos out? Um, so I, hmm, so I want to do every Friday, um, but you know, at the beginning, things are hard, my dear. Things are really hard at the beginning, but I do um, plan on trying to be consistent. Next question is Angola or South Africa? I would choose Angola because 
honestly speaking i grew being in south africa i felt like um south africa wasn't giving me um the space that i needed to grow and when will you be returning to south africa baby i'll be coming for your wedding because i know i'm going to be part of your bridesmaid right um, next question is how old are you i am 23 um next question is what is your favorite meal my favorite meal is definitely the traditional um congolese meal bondu i love bondu and rice and in order for me to enjoy that meal i have to eat the bondu while sitting on the floor and i have to eat the bondu inside the pot inside the pot where you cook the rice and you know you just put the bundu next to you know the rice not on top of the rice just you know besides the rice my dear more pili pili more fish more pesho batumba you know um thompson i know south african people know thompson you know you put thompson you know the orange um scotch bonnet the orange pili pili chili my dear that's my favorite meal that is my favorite meal i love it but i also love potatoes oh i my weakness is potatoes my weakness is potatoes i could eat potatoes every single day and i will not get tired um next question what do you love most about yourself and what do you hate most about yourself what I love most about myself will definitely be my relatability. I'm easily relatable. I'm easy to get to know. No, I'm not easy to get to know, but like I'm easy to talk to. Um, I'm very welcoming. Um, my personality. <laughs> I love my personality. Um, things that I hate about myself. I don't know how to say no um, another thing would be um, the fact that I don't know how to stand up for myself like I'm literally the type of person to like you know just keep quiet when something is said about me that I don't like um, or when somebody does something that I don't like I just keep quiet next question is what is your favorite Bible verse my favorite Bible verse is definitely Romans 8, chapter 30, um, Romans 8, verse 38 to 39, sorry. Um, I just love what the words of that verse say. Knowing that there is absolutely nothing that will separate me from the love of God, no amount of sin, no amount of shame, you know, no amount of disappointment will ever make God stop loving me. That is definitely my favorite verse, you know, because I feel like, you know, in this world, we live in a world where people are so quick to cut people off. People are so quick to judge people. People are so quick to move on, you know, but knowing that no matter what I do to God, no matter how much you know time it takes me to submit to my calling he will always love me and he will always be there for me and there will always always just be a place for me to call home in jesus christ i feel like that's like the best thing that anybody can know you know i feel like we often you know look for love in the wrong places you know and um re when i read that verse i was going through the most and it just reminded me that god is love god is love and the love that I've always wanted can be found in him. And that's what I'm focused on, baby. Um, my long-term goal is definitely to get into ministry. Um, so yeah. How are you coping with being away from your brothers? Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's hard. Um, when I first came, I really didn't care. I was like, hey, me, I'm in America. Nobody must give me stress. Nobody, nobody. But <laughs> after a few months, like, I really started missing my brothers. Like, I thought I was gonna cry at the airport, but I didn't even cry. Not even an ounce of tea, my dear. Not even a single drop. But like I said, after a few months of being here, you know, and not being able to yell at any Anybody, you know because I can't find the spoons you know or somebody forgot to wash their dish you know um, not being able you know just to like send somebody to go to the store because I don't feel like it you know um, really hit me it really hit me super super hard um, so yeah I really really miss my brothers I'm not gonna lie it's extremely hard I miss my mom and dad as well but I am used to being away from my parents because my parents travel a lot um so yeah what's your favorite clothing accessory clothing slash accessory or accessory um my favorite 
uh, closet item would definitely be boots. I love boots, especially Jada boots. Hey, I love Jada boots. So sock boots. Hey, those are my favorite. Um, places you would love to travel to. I'd love to go to Dubai. I'd love to go to Thailand. I'd love to go to Namibia, mm, Egypt. Uh, oh, and I also want to go to China. I really, really want to go to China so I can see, you know, like the different hair factories, you know, so I can see the small street of China because my dad has been to China. My mom and dad have been to China a few times and, you know, they just tell me that like the, the, the malls or the vendors or the stores that side are crazy and me, I'm going, I just want to go there so I can sleep in that place. <laughs> if I had to go to China and see that place, my dear. Just give me like two, three months ahead just so I can shop, you know, just so I can like see which vendors, you know, I'd like to work with and stuff like that. Um, how many kids do you want? Um, I want to have four kids of my own, three kids of my own. But a strong part of me feels like I've also been called to be an adoptive mother. Um, like I said, I love to wear... Um, I love to wear my heart on my sleeves um, I just love to love and I feel that if I'm given the opportunity to be a mother to the motherless it would be the greatest blessing of my life you know just being able to pour love just being able to pour security just being able to pour you know affection to those that need it most I feel like that for me would be me completing my purpose and my mission in the world you know even though that even though I've been called to serve I feel like um, one of the greatest gifts that I could give myself is um, being able to adopt a kid or two. Um, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Um, I definitely see myself married to a pasta. <laughs> no lie. I definitely do see myself married to a pasta. I definitely see myself in ministry. Um, I definitely see myself owning a few NGOs. Um, so yeah. What's your biggest pet peeve? Um, my biggest pet peeve is I'm a hoarder. I love the art of buying and just staring at things he's my obsession i just love that i just i don't know it's just something that i always do um another thing is i always hide money i hide clothes i don't know why i do it but that's just something that i've adopted over the years i think it's because i used to have nannies and they used to just like go through my stuff and so look would see you buy something and it would just go missing and you can't even question this person because it's gonna be like oh what did you think I stole that hey why are you disrespecting me sir eh, Maria I started hiding things hey hey this question <laughs> do you believe in polygamy <laughs> do you believe in polygamy my dear God did not create Ed, Eve, and Paulina. <clears throat> he did not create Adam, Eve, Sarah. He only took one rib from Adam. Not two, not three. He took one rib from Adam. I personally think that men who entertain polygamy men who push for polygamy a lost man a broken man who are trying to find their mother in these different wives and clearly you cannot find her in number one so you go for number two not in number two go for number three and so on you are clearly looking for something in this time and age my dear in this 21st century with how expensive life is with the standard of living that we are all after why would you want to have multiple wives why what what for did God call you to be a father of a nation that maybe I don't know about that maybe we all don't know about no 
He didn't call you. But you want to be a father of a nation. But these men of this world, they want polygamy. Shocker. <laughs> Honestly, listen, I think that men who push for polygamy, men who entertain polygamy, are broken men. We are entitled to our own opinion in this world. Please do not come for me. I know that you will say, oh no, but eh, but, but, what's his name? But, um, but David, but Jacob, my dear, you are not David. You are not Jacob. God did not call you to be a father of a nation, but you are forcing that will in your life. Polygamy. Polynimi. You don't want to look for the face of God. My dear, you have a problem. I really do think that you have a problem. And most men that push for polygam, polygamy are nonchalant men. Men who, who, you will ask them, hey, baby, what's your love language? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't follow white people's uh, tradition. What is that? Me, I just love. Tonton, how do you want to be loved? That's the question. What is your love language? That's the question. They will ask you, baby, let's have a difficult conversation. Baby, I see this. You know, this is what's bothering you. get angry. I'm hungry. Leave me alone. But you want to be a polygam. So I think men like that, who just have the mentality of, no, I'm just a provider. It's the mother's duty to look after the kids. Those are nonchalant men, number one. Number two, you raise broken children because you are a present yet very, very, very absent father. Don't you are just there to be the, 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 the what, the ATM machine. You are just there to give money. But you don't sit down and get to have difficult conversations with your wife. You don't sit down and get to know your children. You don't sit down and, you know, get to ask your children, you know, what they aspire to become. You don't sit down, you know, and invest your time in getting to know your wife. And invest your time into, you know, um, getting to know yourself. Because as we grow, there's a lot of things that also change about us. So no, I don't believe in polygamy. I'm sorry. You are trying to find your mother in these different women and clearly you cannot find. Because after number one, you go to number two. Number two is not enough, you go to number three. Man, what are you looking for? What? What are you looking for? Look for God. Then you will not be interested in polygamy, my dear. I don't believe in polygamy, please. I'm sorry, I don't believe in polygamy. No. And you might say, oh, Jesus is a polygamy. Are you Jesus? Are you God? <laughs> Please, ne? leave me alone. Your top three characteristics of a Christian. Um, for me, it's definitely love, humility, and patience. Uh, next question. <laughs> when was your... Um, when was your first serious relationship? I think that my current relationship is a serious relationship, but baby, no face, no case. Um, next question. What content should we expect from you on your channel? Um, so with regards to my channel, um, there's going to be a lot of fashion videos. <laughs> there's something that I have coming up with regards to fashion. Um, fashion videos um hair tutorials my dear we are all trying we all want also to be given free wigs my dear we have money to buy our own wigs but deep 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 down inside our hearts we want free wigs my dear so i'm definitely going to be doing hair tutorial videos <laughs> i'm definitely going to be doing hair tutorial videos um and faith related content with faith i just want to share my struggle of accepting my purpose there isn't a lot of people that share that side. People just come out, hey, I'm a pastor, yeah, I fast, 
you know I'm not the type of person that will you know just randomly start giving you scripts you know from the top of my head you know no I'm not that type of a person I am a struggling Christian um, and I believe that you know sometimes the best ways to get rid of you know these bondages you know is by sharing you know sometimes when we refuse you know to let people know that listen this is what I'm struggling with we die in silence so I want to share that listen I'm struggling with this there's a lot of you know us that struggle with pornography there's a lot of us that struggle with um, depression there's a lot of us that struggle with lust you know and it's not being preached in our churches because especially in Congolese churches it's not being preached because no so ni no no I want to be able to share struggle so we have come to the end of our video um, this is just a little something that I wanted to share with you guys about myself I hope that it has given you guys a better insight of who I am thank you thank you thank you so much I cannot do this without you guys please my dear do not forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you on the next video bye baby Bye, bye, Tonto, bye, Tantins, bye, bye, Malekis, bye, bye, Malekis. <laughs> bye, guys, take it.